Hi, I'm Jasmine Whitfield, the arts editor of The Roundtable. I'm here to present you with a sneak peek of the Strawberry Hill Players Fall Play, Peter and the Starcatcher. It opens on November 3rd at 7.30 p.m., and you can watch it November 4th, 10th, or 11th. Right now, I'm in the auditorium with the cast of Peter and the Starcatcher, here to ask them a few questions about the upcoming play. I'm here with Leah Alford, a.k.a. Peter Pan. Yes. Leah, do you want to tell me a little bit about how rehearsals go for you? Oh, rehearsals are very, like, um, smooth. Starts off with like um, going over like certain moments that we haven't covered like in the last rehearsal, and then we go through the whole show. So yeah, it's really nice. What's your favorite part about rehearsal? Um, actually going over Act One and the dances with the music, like everything all together. Um, yeah. I'm here with Leo Fields and editor chief of the Roundtable. Leo, what is your character? I play Black Stash, who is essentially Captain Hook before he gets his hook hand. And what is your favorite part about rehearsals? Uh, it's got to be the people. The cast is just so tight-knit and close, and it's just always a fun time when I'm at rehearsal. So I'm looking forward to the show. Can you give us a sneak peek about stuff in the show? I can say that a lot of the story is going to connect to the story of Peter Pan. So if you're familiar with some of the characters or stories from Peter Pan, then you'll, you'll definitely enjoy this show. I'm here with Cooper Toland. What is the name of your character? Molly Astor. And can you tell me a little bit about her? Molly Astor is the star catcher from like Peter and the star catcher. She saves the boys, becomes like a best friend. <laughs> Why should people come watch the play? It's very entertaining. There's a lot of little funny things and it's like the prequel to Peter Pan, which is fun. Hi, I'm here with Miss Dunn, the Strawberry Hill Players advisor. Miss Dunn, can you tell us a little about Peter and the Starcatcher and how rehearsals go. Yes. So Peter and the Starcatcher is a play with music all about how Peter Pan became Peter Pan. So the character that we know from Disney movies or just from Broadway and literature, um, it, this is his story and how he became what we know now. What is your favorite part about the play? Um, well, I'm just a big Peter Pan fan in general. So this is really exciting to me because like, I love all the different uh, allusions it makes to the story that we already know. So like Captain Hook references, the crocodile, um, Wendy even in Tinkerbell, like all those things that we know come out in the play at different moments and that's really fun. So Hayden's not here, Hayden Katz is not here today, but Hayden and I have been working on costuming the show. We put together all the costumes over there in that corner um, for the characters as their base costumes. But then there is one scene where they all come out as mermaids. And so if you look around, we've been putting together some mermaid tails that we've made ourselves with fabric um, and then the fins at top and then fans on the bottom to be the mermaid tails. So that has been a month long project, <laughs> but it is nearly complete in time for the show. And then we also have the mermaid wigs. Um, some people will be in, ooh, some people will be in a mermaid wig, and then some people will be in a mermaid crown. Thank you. So, here we go. Hi, I'm here with Jane McNamara. What is the name of your character? Prentice. Can you tell me a little bit about him? He's one of the Lost Boys. He's very snarky. He's the leader of the group, and he's a little bit of a nerd. All right. What has been your favorite part about the show so far? Definitely getting to make a lot of new friends and like different grades and stuff and a lot of the cast bonding. Hi, my name is Miles DeSantis and I'm running sound for Peter and the Starcatcher. Um, here's our board. And if you look at these things, these are all of the names of the characters and they will go up and down whenever the mics are playing. It'll be really fun. Um, I encourage you to come because it's a really fun show. Um, it's pretty musical, which is interesting because we don't usually, we usually do that in the fall. It's really fun and it'll be really great and you're gonna love it. And come to Mamma Mia too, that'll be even better. Hi, I'm Jasmine Whitfield, and I'm here with Leah, Molly. For Peter and the Starcatcher, what do you guys do as tech? Um, well, a lot. You know, Leah, over the lovely Leah, is the prop manager, so she's like regulating all the props and making sure uh, everybody has what they need. Um, I'm assistant stage managing, so I have to know everybody's blocking. Um, you know, we have spotlights, set movers, uh, sound. There are a bunch of opportunities. Please join tech. <laughs> This is a beautiful set that they made back here. Can you tell me a little bit about the set? Honestly, yeah. Um, so these things are like uh, wooden 
boxes that have, have wheels. <laughs> they have wheels. They move. And there's two bigger ones. But one has a trap door. It's really cool. You can, like, go inside. It's awesome. And it was a struggle to paint them all. We had a... I have, like, two ruined pants now because of all the paints. Um, it got all your hands. It's honestly fun making them. But using them, it's stressful because they're heavy. You have to move it everywhere. Hi, how you doing? I'm Tommy DeSalvo. I'm one of the advisors here with the Strawberry Hill Players. And for this current show, Peter and the Starcatcher, I am producing it and doing the lighting design. Um, Peter and the Starcatcher is a very fun storytelling piece. It brings a whole new perspective on how Peter Pan really came about. Um, some cool origin stuff with it. Just a very fun ensemble cast that got to feature many of our students here. So I hope you come see it and support them. It's going to be great. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Kaylee Maldonado. What is the name of your character? Uh, I am Lord Leonard Astor. Can you tell me a little bit about Lord Leonard Astor? <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, so he is a star catcher, and he's Molly's dad, and he is British, very British. Can I hear your British accent? Sure. Um, it's not very good, um, but the fact that I have to say all my lines in this terrible accent is, is crazy, but enjoy. What is your favorite line um, in a British accent? I don't know if I can say this line in a British accent, but it's, um, qua, cheap, rah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hello, I'm Stephen Emmerich. I'm the director of Peter and the Starcatcher uh, with the Strawberry Hill Players. Uh, you should come see Peter and the Starcatcher because it is this collaborative storytelling piece that involves all of the cast and crew um, contributing to the show uh, for this really fun, unique adventure that you get to go on as a prequel to Peter Pan. So come out on November 3rd and 4th, 10th and 11th at 7.30 p.m. for Peter and the Star Catcher. Thanks. Tickets are sold at the door. $10 for students and senior citizens and $15 for adults. You can also buy your ticket down below right now. You don't want to miss this amazing show, so make sure to be there. Bye. Come see Peter and the Star Catcher! Woo